Hello, Leanna here, sexual energy healer and sex and relationship coach. Now, I have been requested to talk about wife swapping. Um, what is wife swapping? Are you ready to swap your wife? Uh, wife swapping is, you know, swapping your wife with somebody else. People are really excited and interested in doing this. And it's really about two couples coming together and having an experience, right? Now, it's not quite as scary as you think, but the difficult part is actually to find a couple that is willing to do this with you so that you're both actually attracted to this, both people, right? You want to make sure that you're all kind of on the same page and you're attracted to each other. If you're just thinking about swapping your wives, then um, you have to make sure your wife is attracted to him and he's attracted to her and then vice versa, right? Now, this is a really exciting sexual exploration for people who are starting out and are just getting together. It's called same room sex, two couples coming together and exploring together. So, you know, first you meet somebody. Now you can meet somebody online and I talk about that in some other videos, meeting somebody online, or it can be an organic meeting where you find somebody that you connect with and you start having good conversation and then maybe it comes out that well, would you like to explore more intimately with us? Or you're just having a dinner and things sort of turn into a more intimate kind of dynamic. Um, first, finding the partner. I'm, got, I'm not gonna get too much into finding that other person because there are many ways to do that and you have to put out the energy to actually locate another couple. When we were looking for a couple, that's how it started. We just put out the energy that wouldn't it be cool to do some kind of same room sex with another couple? And it happened in a very bizarre way through buying furniture for our daughter's bedroom, meeting the couple that way. So it can unfold in all sorts of unique and unusual ways if you just open your heart to the possibility and then when the possibility is there, say yes, okay. Let's go for it. Let's take this step. Let's meet this couple. So this particular couple we met buying furniture for our daughter. Um, we really liked, we met, we really liked them. We were both kind of attracted to them. We didn't really know where it was going to go. And so we started with just saying, hey, let's go for a drink or something because we had a nice connection with them. And then during the drink, we had some really good conversation, you know you want to make sure you're connected with this couple so that you feel comfortable. Uh, we had a really deep conversation about sex, about politics, about spirituality, like things that don't usually come up in a nice dinner kind of conversation. Uh, from there, we knew that more was possible. We didn't know what yet. We weren't like, we weren't creating huge expectations, never create huge expectations, just go into it step by step. So from there, um, they invited us to dinner at their place and that's when it all unfolded. And I have another video about that, all about that event. Um, so that was, that ended up being one of our first, my, this is my ex-husband and I, our first sexual exploration event. And it started by just opening our heart to the possibility. Now you and your partner have to both be into doing this, right? Um, you have to talk about it first. You have to talk about, you know, what you want to do. Are you comfortable in having sex with somebody else? Um, what do you not want to do? What are your fears? Go into conversation with each other about all of the potential possibilities, all of the feelings that are coming up. Um, there is usually feelings of jealousy that exist and so you want to talk about it you're not going to know how you feel until you actually go into it because jealousy is kind of tricky that way where it's it sticks its head out when it's in the most unexpected ways you know there might be a scenario where you meet people and you're there's just no jealous feelings about the connection at all and the other times you meet somebody and the jealousy is massive right it's really an energetic feeling that takes over so but talk about it before and as you go through these steps of wife swapping or same room sex you um you want to keep conversation open you want to talk about 
what happened after, how you felt, what you didn't like, what you did like, what's going on for you. Keep conversation open. So when you actually finally meet each other and there is that knowledge between the two of you, the couples, that you are going to have some kind of interaction and you are going to do some swapping, um, before you start, when you first meet, put everything on the table in the sense of talk about what you like, what you don't like, where you do not want to go, what you do not want to do, you know, really be truthful and honest, okay? You want to start that from the very beginning. Uh, I had a scenario one time where we met a couple, went to their house, really nice connection online. Uh, we got their nice connection meeting them. Uh, we kind of started off right away without going into too much conversation. And the first thing was that they had a hot tub. You got to come to our hot tub. You got to go in the hot tub. And I don't mind a hot tub, but my ex does not like hot tubs. <laughs> but he kind of went along with it because it was happening, but he was not happy about it. <laughs> um, not that you can know, but he needed to voice his, his feelings immediately. Well, I don't like hot tubs, so we wouldn't have done it. But he was a little bit tentative and afraid to express himself too much. At that point, it was very early on. Um, and then later in the evening, things went bad because one of the, 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 the male partner wanted to do things that I didn't want to do and my partner didn't want to be involved with that. It just got messy. So when we left the scenario, we realized that we should have really had a good conversation with this couple before we started and put down the guidelines and the boundaries so that we all knew we, you know, we were all on the same page, right? Um, and even if there's something that comes up that's not discussed early on, you have to be confident enough to express it, okay? Nobody should get upset or should push you away for you saying no, because they might say no for something and you need to respect that. And, um, you know, and you can talk about it. Okay, well, what's, what would you prefer to do? What, what is bothering you about this scenario? Um, what kind of things would you want to do? How shall we move through this? You know, really, you've got to be really open and really um, comfortable with expressing your emotions and your feelings and, and your desires, right? So that's why do all those other things that I've been talking about, you know, deep conversations with your partner, deep inner work, about who you are as a sexual being. Um, get my Deeper Us program coming out in the next week or two. <laughs> Deeper Us, Deeper Us. It's going to be for couples where I take you through eight salons. They're short exercises that come out each week. And it just helps you dive in deeper with each other, feel each other's energy much more in a, in a deeper way, feel a, a, a connection within the sexual intimate dimension that that brings you closer together so that you feel more connected more bonded right so get that deeper us um, there's going to be a number of parts but this is part one coming up um, so then uh, when you're together with the couple check in on each other you know always check on your partner you are taking care of each other they are taking care of each other and even if you switch partners and you get wrapped up in the other person, as soon as you get that breath of air, then just check on your partner. Is everything okay, you know? Maybe you have, maybe you're in the same room, you can just check over, are you okay, everything okay? It's okay to ask questions, it's okay to be direct, it's even okay to say, just a second, I'm gonna go check on her or him or them and see how they're doing, and you know, make sure you keep that connection with each other because you don't want, you don't want something to go, something to go to be really uncomfortable and you're so busy that you've completely lost all connection with your partner. You can, you can get very deeply involved with another person and not sort of see what's going on, but as soon as you come out, you know, have that awareness because you're there to take care of each other, right? And if there is a problem and you can sense it and feel it, that's why I do the deep breath program that helps you feel your partner more, um, then stop. Just say, okay, we have to stop and um, we need to just have a little discussion alone. It's okay to do that, you know. It's okay to take some time, go off to the side and have a little chat about what's going on, make sure you're okay. Maybe you have to leave, that's okay too. And maybe it's just a little tweaking, 
that will help bring this scenario back into play. <clears throat> um, I suggest that before you even do any swapping that you just have same room sex. You do not do any swapping at all. Don't just start the boundaries with we're just going to have sex in the same room. Things might um, evolve from there slowly. Take it slow and that, that's okay, but you have a boundary of, okay, let's just try this being in the same room with another couple. And you may want to try a little voyeur exhibitionist uh, thing scenario here where one couple's watching another couple uh, perform, right? Take turns doing that. So you can just be in the same room watching another couple have sex. That's very exciting. And um, this is one of, one of the parts of my salon in the Deeper Us. We're gonna explore exhibitionism and voyeurism. So keep, keep, keep that in mind there. Uh, yeah, so, and, and um, you know, in, really understand that this is about play, adult play, fun. Don't get upset about things, don't judge, don't, you know, pretend you're really playing, you're playing, you're having fun, this is a game, this is, this is exploration, you know, and if something doesn't feel good or doesn't go right, don't freak out or get angry, just, okay, like, okay, this game's gone in a direction I didn't expect. So let's see how we're going to navigate this. Uh, it may be we, I think we have to leave, you know, sorry, but we must go. Or it might be, let's try something else. Let's go to a different room. Let's have a drink and just relax, you know. Um, you have to take care of yourself and then you have to take care of your partner, right? They are going to be taking care of themselves, that partnership, and you have your partnership. And if you see also another thing that comes up, and sometimes the other partners are not taking care of each other or uh, they're in a state of argument or something going on. If there's any friction between the other couple at any time through the event, then I suggest you stop. You can try to have a conversation, see if you can clear it up, um, if you can find out what's going on, if you can help them and assist them in any way. If it's not possible, then I suggest you probably should not be involved with them. They may not be mature enough. They may be going through some difficulties. Um, there's, <laughs> there's so many dynamics. You know, the dynamics you have with two people is intense, insane, but four people, you're getting a lot of dynamic, a lot of emotions, a lot of shifts and changes going on. So um, be conscious of this, be conscious of it, and don't continue into the play, like say you're with a partner and your wife's with somebody else, or your, your wife's with someone else, and you continue the play and you see that, that they're, they're, you know, this, you're, this person you're with is not, is, is trying to get attention, it's not, there's some kind of friction. You know, don't get, don't get in a messy scenario. It doesn't have to be messy, it can be fun and beautiful and connective and juicy, and then you can all leave, um, uh, you know, at the end, I suggest having a little discussion about how you all felt and, and what you would like how to have more of in, in another time you get together, maybe. Uh, just expressing a little bit about what you felt about the event. It's okay to talk about that as well. So, that's it about the wife swapping. If you have any questions, I probably have missed stuff. Put the questions below, I will answer them. Maybe I'll make another video as well. Maybe I'll do a whole series. <laughs> but put the questions below or put any kind of shares that you had. I would love to hear shares, experiences, good or bad, so that can help other people maneuver, or make their way through this kind of exploration. All right, I will see you again very soon. Much love making.